What's up YouTube, it's Coach Corey, and today I'm going to show you guys how you can make and design your own Brawl Stars map, and how you can maybe get it in the game. Alright, so let's do it. Okay, so first off, I have to give credit to the person who made this tool, and that's King Dragon Hoff. He made this incredible tool that allows us to make and design our own Brawl Stars map, and it's really great, guys. Let me tell you, there's a lot of good features. I'm going to show you guys how to use it. I'm going to show you guys the map that I made. Guys, you guys should make some maps too. The link is up there. I'll put it in the description, and I'll put it in a comment too, so you guys can make your own maps and share your maps in the comments and we can check them out and like the ones that you like. So first off, it's really intuitive. You can make whatever style map you want. You can change the map type. That's basically the size. So it's a normal map. You can make it a showdown map and then it's really wide. You can make just a regular wide map, which I guess is for like landscape mode, basically, I guess. So if you want to make a totally different map, try and make it better for the landscape. Obviously the different themes, so desert, mine, and then you can add in different items. So there's the walls, all the different wall types. There's the different grass, the mushroom. It's got everything TNT, walls that don't blow up. You can put in gem mines. You can put in safes, bounty stars, brawl ball. You can make lakes. And also I'll zoom out some. You can easily delete stuff. You can rename it. You can share it really easily. You can post it to Reddit really easily as well. So suggest map and it just auto goes to Reddit for you. A lot of amazing feature there. You can see all your maps. Additionally, you can see all these featured maps. Now let's look at my map, Box of Doom. So I made a map and what this map is, is that's a smash and grab map and the gem mine is surrounded by walls. I actually want it to be just walls instead of the little barriers, the uh, wood barriers, but surrounded it by walls. Originally, I didn't have any TNT and I just wanted it to be, you needed a brawler who super can break open the walls to be able to get to the gems near the gem mine. But I decided to add some TNT just in case, you know, you were with randoms and you don't have one of those brawlers. So I feel like this is a pretty interesting map. Definitely totally different. So all I feel it makes a really interesting dynamic whether, you know, do I wait to blow up the TNT and get some gems? Do I focus on killing people first? Which lane do I go in? Do I have two brawlers on one side of the map or do I blow up that TNT right away? Or do I want to open up the walls on the side by those uh, gem mine, try and make the gem mine even more open? Definitely clay creates a lot of interesting scenarios. I feel like I feel like this would be a pretty fun map. Maybe not too spawn trappy either, because yes, throwers would be really good at spawn trapping on this map, but they wouldn't be very good outside of the spawn since it's pretty open. Um, I guess it would be good at attacking the middle, but they would be pretty bad outside of it. Brawlers could just go outside. There's probably gonna be at least one brawler on each side, so the throwers would not match up well versus those guys. I don't know what exact the team comps would work well in this map. Maybe, I mean, you'd, I guess like a Pam would probably be pretty good. Enough range. Poco strong right now. You could probably still have a tank. You got enough grass on the sides. I think it's pretty interesting. Okay, let's look at some other maps. So you can also, of course, make up your totally own different game mode. And you can just put it in the description like what it is. So for instance, I think this is one of them. Yeah, this one's really crazy. I think this is meant to be... A capture the flag thing but look at this all these different lanes and barriers i think this star is the flag so read the description yeah a map for capture the flag you get the flag in the middle which is the star bring it back to your base represented by the safe if the safe is broken by the enemy team they can take your flags first team to get three flags wins so you take this the star which is actually supposed to be a flag bring it to your safe and you get a point and you have to get three of those and then your team wins so that's really cool like, look at this. This is a really creative and interesting map. This would be really fun. So this is a really great idea. So if you guys want to make your own maps, and then if you want to get this potentially in the game, share it to Reddit. If it gets a good amount of upvotes, it's probably necessary to get a good amount of upvotes. 
the team will definitely see it and then if they really like it they'll save the map and when they're thinking about new maps to add they'll go to their folder of all their saved maps and they'll be like, hey, that's a really good map, that's a really good map, maybe we should do something similar to that, or maybe we should just do that map, that map looks really good. And then they'll make it really quick, they'll test it out, hey, this map looks good, maybe we should add this. So guys, you can definitely potentially have your own map added to the game, just like they added Tar, that was a, a community idea, someone made the idea for Tar, really, really similar. And I think they're going to do the same thing with skins, I know... That Ryan has saved up a bunch of all these skin ideas that people have. He has a folder or someone has a folder of all these skin ideas that people in the community have made. So when they go and start making a bunch of skins, they're going to look at that first. Well, I don't know the first thing, but they're definitely going to look at that and take some ideas from the community. I think it's going to be very, very similar with brawler maps. Oh, and you know what? You know who made a brawler map? Kairos time. So let's look at what Kairos has. Kairos has a map called Double Trouble. With two gem mines, a smash and grab map with two gem mines, that would be pretty crazy. It looks really, really similar to Snake Prairie. Uh, or not Snake Prairie, uh, Sapphire Plains. So maybe that part, I would like it to be a little bit different. But that's really cool that there's two gem mines. Which gem mine do you go towards? The games would be a lot faster. Maybe would you split up which gem mine the gem spawns at? So it still spawns at the same rate for like the whole game and maybe just... It might only spawn at one gem mine at a time. That could be pretty interesting. Or do you have it spawn at both at the same time? And then there's just a lot of gems. A more fast-paced Smash Grab map would be kind of fun. But it would also be maybe frustrating in that um, if your team gets wiped, you could lose a lot faster. As opposed, It would be harder to come back Like if you're losing early. It would be harder to come back with two gem mines if they're spawning both at the same time. But alright guys, that's a really short video. I just wanted to show this really cool feature. All credit to King Dragonhoff. He did an amazing job with this. It's a really easy to use feature as well. So guys, share your own maps in the description. Tell me what you think of this idea. I got a link in the description and in the comments. So definitely make your own maps. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you later.